This is Randy Bell with the Courier Podcast, the place to come for the latest Clinton news. Clinton schools should be even safer when classes resume this fall. The Clinton Police Department is adding another school resource officer, thanks in part to a $40,000 grant from the Mississippi Community-Oriented Policing Services in Schools, or MCOPS program, administered by the State Department of Education. That's $10,000 an officer that we spend for equipment and training. That was Police Chief Fort Heyman after the Board of Aldermen authorized CPD to accept the grant award at its meeting July 5th. We're looking at uh, inserting a fourth officer into the program. Really excited about that. With six buildings to cover, the officers have to float around to different schools. But Heyman said the increase in manpower will pretty much guarantee that an officer will be at Clinton High School all the time. The chief's goal is to add more officers so that there's one at every school. Heyman said the Clinton School District has been an awesome partner in the program, funding the majority of the officers' salaries. The chief also briefed the alderman on the active shooter drill that was held on the Mississippi College campus back in May. He told the board that within 10 minutes of the initial gunshot, officers had located and confronted the suspect. But the drill scenario included another wrinkle, a bomb placed in a dormitory. CPD used one of its new drones to locate that device, which the bomb team rendered safe. Heyman said the purpose of the drill is simple. We're trying to, to gauge where we stand, you know, or are we prepared properly or are we doing the right things and, and uh, getting the right resources moving in, in the proper direction. The chief told the board that he's confident that if there ever is an active shooter in Clinton, the department will do a good job. And a car that was stolen from a dealership's lot in Jackson will now provide transportation for CPD detectives. The 2020 Honda Civic with 17,000 miles had been in storage for over a year after a traffic stop in Clinton led to the driver's arrest. An agreement with the insurance company and Clinton Body Shop allowed the police department to take ownership of the car for only $1,000. And while a Honda Civic might not be well-suited for use as a patrol car, Heyman said it's just what the detectives need. This car can go anywhere and blend in. Nobody will ever know. This is Randy Bell.